Hello friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Poonam Dua. Today we will go for video number 24 of our mock test series and we will start from question number 231. 230 questions covered kiye ja chuke hain un videos ki playlist ka link description mein hai. Please do watch all the questions jisse ki aap logon ke marks increase ho jaye aapke kisi bhi competitive exam mein. Let us proceed to the video now. So here comes question number 231 to refer to the unresolvable difficulties a text may open up Derrida makes use of the term which term of the following is used by Derrida in philosophy dysphoria is a um, is a state of puzzlement basically and in rhetoric it is a declaration of doubt uh, doubt made for rhetorical purpose and often feigned in literature as aporia. Aporia an expression of insincere doubt it is when the writer or speaker pretends briefly not to know a key piece of information or not to understand a key connection. An example of aporia is the famous Elizabeth Barrett Browning poem which begins with the sentence how do I love thee. So, question is asked for the writer to tell us about the doubt of the writer. Aporia, Merchant of the Venice, may be appear in uh, written by William Shakespeare. Shylock employs Aporia in the speech he makes to Celarino, explaining why he is seeking revenge against Antonio, who has humiliated him with anti-Semitic insults. So, Aporia is a doubt that the writer has shown him. Option A is the right answer here. Next question, question number 232. Who among the following English playwrights scripted the film Shakespeare in Love? The correct answer is option D. Tom Stopper. Shakespeare in Love, How playwright was by Tom Stopper. Next question, question 233. Arrange the following in chronological order. Mary Wollstonecraft, Vindication, Lyrical Ballad, <coughs> French Revolution, Parsi's Relics of Ancient English Poetry. Relics of Ancient English Poetry, Parsi's Ballad, Bishop Thomas Parsi, and it was published in 17, 1765. Revolution, it was a period of radical political and dissension changes in France that began in 1789. Next is the turn of lyrical ballad, lyrical ballad with a few other poems, a collection of poems by Wordsworth and Coleridge, first published in 1798. Next is the vindication of rights of Pictures on political and moral subjects written by very famous 18th century British feminist writer Mary Wollstonecraft and it published in the year 1792. So hence option, option A, 4312 is the correct option. Next question, which of the following employs a narrative structure in which the main action is relayed at second hand through an enclosing frame story? Frame story means a story within a story. Within a story, there is a story. Usi story ke andar bhi koi character koi or story bata raha and we get to know the story of the character within a story. So that is what we call a frame story. Heart of Darkness is the correct answer hai. Heart of Darkness. In Heart of Darkness, we encounter a queen monkey as it is in wooden height that we never have to go out of it. That is the initial narrative for the story told by Queen Senator Jacob Kabinami, who establishes the situation for or using the story to tell you for a second and the main story told by second acting narrator Marlowe. Next question, question number 235. The Irish dramatic moment was heralded by such figures as 
which of the following we have to choose. Correct answer is option A, W. B. Yeats, Lady Gregory, and Edward Norton. Uh, theater literature in Ireland in 1899. which is called Abbey Theater. Next question, question 236. Which poem by Chaucer was written on the death of Blanche, wife of John of Corn? Correct answer is option C, Book of Duchess. The Book of Duchess, also known as the Death of Blanche, is the earliest of Chaucer's major poems, preceded only by his short poem, An ABC. This is also a short poem, An ABC, and possibly by the translation of the Raymond of the Rose. It is quite allegorical, a fine piece of English, and uh, I would fully recommend to anyone who knows Middle English. Next question, question 237. Uh, the tragedy of Felix and Porridge is the other title of the correct answer is Corbuduck. The tragedy of Corbuduck, also titled Felix and Porridge, is an English play of the year 1561. And uh, it is also known as Felix and Porridge and both Corbuduck. Next question, which of the following poet is Australian? The correct answer is option B, Judith Wright. Judith Wright, a Australian poet or environmentalist pithy and campaigner for Aboriginal land rights. And she was the recipient of Christopher Brennan Award and recipient of Australian National Living Treasure Award of 1998. Next question, question number 239, he found it, it says English, hai. brick and left it marble. Remark one great writer on another, who are they? And the correct answer is Johnson on Dryden. This beautiful statement has been said by Johnson for the very famous Restoration Era writer, John Dryden. Here comes question number 240. Who among the following is not a Nobel laureate? Okay, karke dekhte hain sabhi writers ko. Tony Morrison, yes. Uh, Nobel Prize won in the year 1993. And famous TV Nobel Prize was given in 1995. And Derek Welcott Nobel Prize in Literature in 1992. So the correct answer with us is Geoffrey Wilfer. Geoffrey Hill, who is English poet or professor in English literature ke, and co-director of the Editorial Institute at Boston University, did never win a Nobel Prize. So this is how we reach to the end of this part of the video. Please keep watching the channel. We keep on bringing many important videos for literary exam aspirants. This is a series which will at present have total 250 questions. Few videos have already been covered. This is video number 24 to 30 questions we had already covered in previous videos. So this series ko dekhte rahi hai, continue kari hai. These 250 questions are really going to be very beneficial for you please provide your valuable feedback in comments thanks a lot for watching and best of luck for your exams